Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 home organization ideas that are going to help save space around your home. If you've been looking for some ideas to maximize your bedroom, closets, laundry room, and kitchen, this video is just for you. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and get organizing. If you want to make some extra room in your closet, you can remove all of those summer shoes that you have to make room for your fall and winter essentials, but store away your summer shoes underneath your bed using this under bed shoe organizer. This will totally make the most of that space underneath your bed. This rack holds six to nine pairs of shoes, so it's perfect for all of your summer sandals, little running shoes. I have sandals, my water shoes, and even some heels on this rack, and it slides perfectly right underneath this Ikea bed. It's easy to access, but it's still completely hidden away. So if you have a small bedroom or a small closet and you don't want to take up valuable storage space with your extra shoes, definitely just store them away underneath your bed with this little slider. I always recommend using that space underneath your bed to your advantage. If you don't have this kind of height to slide items underneath, or you're looking to add some extra height so you can fit luggages underneath or some extra storage bins, you can use these little wood bed lifter blocks. These slide right underneath the feet of your bed to add about five inches in height. This will bring the height of your bed up, but it will also extend that space that you have underneath your bed so you can fit more. So if you're lacking storage space around your home and you're looking to create more space, definitely lift that bed up and slide all of those much needed things right underneath. The best part is they're stored away, you can't see them, but you can access them super easily. Now I'm sure we all have that messy junk drawer in our homes. This is my junk drawer and it's filled with everything and anything. I do already have these little storage bins inside, but they are sliding around. Everything is still on top of each other. And I think I found a better way to really make the most of this drawer space. So I'm starting again and removing everything from the drawer and putting in these little sliding drawer organizers. These will help make the most of a small drawer space because they they pretty much have a drawer within the organizer. So they actually create two levels of organization. I'm turning mine horizontally so I can take advantage of the front of this drawer and really get it organized. Organizing your junk drawer is probably something that you're gonna have to do multiple times a year because things just build up. So I'm going through everything that I have, throwing out what's garbage and categorizing all of my small items. Since I still have extra space in this drawer, I'm using the original organizers I have just to fill it up completely so the entire drawer can be organized. I'm using these top sliders to hold everything that I'll reach at daily and putting secondary items underneath. Those can be hidden away, but still accessible. Then I'm filling every single compartment here with like items. I have essential oils, tapes, pens, markers, air fresheners, little tools. So organizing a space like this is just all about categorizing and separating. I love that these little drawer organizers allow you to pretty much double the amount of space that you have by using these little sliders. They create that extra slim storage opportunity in this drawer. So these would be great for a junk drawer just like this, or you can use it for makeup storage, desk storage, even cutlery. It's such a great little drawer organizer that will help you pretty much double the amount of storage space that you have. Now, if you have a very simple standard closet just like this with a bar and a shelf, you can take advantage of this space and make the most of it by actually sliding on these little shelf hooks. I've used these before in my kitchen when it comes to hanging mugs and maximizing that space, but you can also use them in your closet to hang extra items and accessories. These slide right onto the shelf and they'll help actually maximize the space behind the rod. That way you can really fill your closet and make the most of the space that you have. 
I'm using them to hang six hats and six bags right inside of this closet. Now I have a designated space to hold all of these things and it keeps all of my clothes and accessories all in the same place. You can still slide your clothing hangers across and hang all your clothes as you normally would, but now you have that extra space behind as storage. So it's such a clever way to really maximize a small closet. If you have a tiny closet space and you're looking for more hanging room, this is just the thing for you. Laundry baskets are essential, and this is my old laundry basket. I liked that it was good for space saving and it was completely collapsible, but now it's actually falling apart. So I found something better. This is a scrunchable laundry tote and it completely opens up to be a full size laundry tote, but it also flattens completely as well. So you can store it away and it takes up very, very minimal space. The sides are all scrunchable, but the edges have a lot of structure. So once the tote is completely opened, it holds open like your typical laundry basket. So it holds a lot. I have about five towels in here. It has two different size handles so you can swing it over your shoulder and be completely hands-free. This is ideal if you don't have laundry in your unit. So if you're looking for a laundry bin that's not going to take up much space, this is definitely a good find. I'm always looking for ways to tidy up and make the most of my countertop space. And this little drawer organizer has been great. It sits right underneath my coffee machine so I can hold my coffee pods, but I still have this mess of boxes beside the machines with Nespresso pods and tea bags. So I wanna better organize this little area to make it more presentable. I'm removing all of the boxes and bringing in this little revolving organizer. Any organizer that spins just makes it more exciting and so much easier to use. You don't have to reach for anything. You can just spin the top and find what you need. So I'm filling every section with the coffee and tea bags. And that way I have this little presentable station to hold everything we need. Organization like this just cleans up the look of your kitchen instantly. And it makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for in seconds. So if you don't have space for a designated coffee drawer or coffee cupboard, take advantage of your countertop space. Keep those items out on display, but in a very very decorative, organized way. An easy way to better organize cabinets in your home, maybe underneath your sink, pantry or linen closet is just to store away items in an angled bin. These hold the same amount as a large bin, but the angled side allows you to see and access everything inside. Typical baskets and containers like this actually force you to take out the entire bin as a whole to find what you're looking for. And I think organization is all about making your life easier. And I think these angled bins just make the small things in life that much easier. This is the perfect style bin for any closet around your home. Opening up this cabinet and seeing neat and tidy plates makes me so happy. I love this little plate organizer. I've used it for many years now, but there's actually so many different purposes for this. It neatly puts away all your plates, allows you to keep that space very tidy. You can even turn it vertically and hold two of these or you can use it for other things in your kitchen like cutting boards. Anything that's flat like a pan, cutting board, lids, you can use this little plate organizer. You can store everything away and it just makes opening up your cupboard and finding what you're looking for super easy. So if you just wanna add a little bit more detail to your cupboards, make them look neat and tidy, this little plate organizer will take it to the next level. You can also use this for makeup palettes if you have a variety of them, you can tidy up your little makeup cupboard with a little plate organizer just like this. All right, so that's it for today's organizing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can start using in your home. I'll have all of these products linked down below in the description box so you guys can use them as well. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these organization ideas do you absolutely need to start using in your home. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.